Yeah. So you have a you have a housemate. We'll start something easy. Okay. <laughs> Softball for the first one. Softball. Yeah. You have a you have a housemate, okay. and then and you train every day, and you have this disciplined regimen of of food and whatnot. Okay. And you go to make your bowl of oatmeal in the morning, and the box is empty. Like yeah. you need a half cup. And there's a quarter cup in there and they ate and then they're sitting down eating oatmeal. They're like, Hey, sorry, I had some of your oatmeal. And like you're 30 minutes away from needing to be over at the, uh, brute strength, uh, Matt Torres down pepper, uh, showdown. I would probably over something like that. I'd be like, Oh dang, like that really sucks, but I'll find, I'll figure something else out. They might be, did they get yelled at a little bit? Yeah. If that, I'd just be like, dang, like next time, like, you know, food is probably a little more important for what I do. So like, could you just think about me next time? Yeah. Yeah. Food is more important for what I do. I like that. Um, don't mess it up. Okay. I'm trying, <laughs> but I got to push her a little bit. I got to push her a little bit. got to push her a little bit. Okay. James is getting desperate here. <laughs> uh, these are my special notes over here. I don't know if the, okay. Um, so oatmeal. Okay. Um, uh, you go to, you go to train okay. and, um, it's, a uh, let's say a month out from the games and you get there and your coach isn't there because, uh, an- another engagement came up. He has to, uh, he, his mom's in town. He's hanging out with his mom and he prioritizes okay. that for coaching with you. Do you, uh, is there grace for that? Yeah, there's grace for that, but I'll let him know about it. Yeah. Not cool. I'll just be like, damn it, it, it. Okay. I'll let him know about it depending on what the training piece was and not necessarily if it went poor, but like, for example, yesterday I had a workout. It was like five sets. And I think by the third set, it was just like kind of going a little South. And so we made, luckily he walked in and we made an adjustment for sets four and five. Oh, so good perfect. question. So good question. Time yeah. Out. So like, you know, there's workouts where uh, Matt will make an adjustment kind of on the fly, but luckily like he was there to see it at the time he did. But some, like if he was not there to see something like that, like I would have been upset after and been like, I wish you had been there. And okay, I feel like it would have been much better if you were there to help me. Okay. Uh, but Danielle, Danielle is a good dude. Love it. Okay. Uh, next one. We'll ramp it up just a tiny bit. Mm. Your coach kicks you out of the gym two weeks before the game. No, no, I'm joking. No, 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 not that one. Uh, sorry, that ramped up too fast. Um, okay. Uh, girls at your house, friends spending the in my friends spending the night at your house, and um, she wakes up in the morning. You guys are going to work out, and she borrows your favorite sports bra, okay, and then leaves town and takes it with her. I'll probably like. Does she do it on like does she do it on purpose? We never know. We never, we never <laughs> know. You know. Honestly, I'd probably just let her keep it. Mm. I'd be like, you can have it. You you need it more than me. You have a shitload of clothes. I have a lot, yeah. I've been, <laughs> even... I've acquired a lot over the years. I but think I saw when I, the, when I couldn't be with Nike anymore, that was like a big shift. Okay, mm. but I, I thought I saw recently on some social media post years that you actually have one of those metal things that like that's it's standalone that clothes hang on like that fashion models might have. Oh, and I'm guessing that's clothes. because your closet's too full. Yeah, I actually use I have two beds, two bedrooms and I use both closets. <laughs> awesome. Sounds like my life. <laughs> I have this I have this friend that you guys all know. And whenever she would. uh rent a house or move into a house the first thing she would do is have her husband convert one of the bedrooms into a closet oh my gosh pretty cool right so she probably puts up like all her shoes and everything huh i'm guessing she probably has like rows and rows of like heels and stuff like that probably yeah. something strong chance strong thousand chance. thousand pairs of little women that's for sure oh, um chance. um boyfriend uh cheats on you okay. but but it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> okay. It's New Year's Eve. You're there. It's just a little, like, just tongue in the mouth. It's just, like. Midnight kiss. Yeah. No. Like, hey, like, 
Toast. No. John. Toast. Okay. Not what if you thought it was supposed to be a, a three way kiss and just the communication didn't get to you? Like, <laughs> it's, a, it's a communication <laughs> thing. Like, like, intentional. Just communication. <laughs> what, no. what, what about the other way around? What if your girlfriend, if your girlfriend um, uh, is sending inappropriate texts to your boyfriend, are they both toast? Not like nude sh photos, but d tapping into yeah, him emotionally. Absolutely. Yeah, both times. Yeah, because I, okay. I, I would never. Right. You wouldn't. I would never. Right. If you there. can't see yourself <laughs> doing it, then like, why would you allow somebody else to do it? Okay. So standard. you. That's right. You know, like, All right. unless I allow myself to do it, then then I'd probably be okay with someone else doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you okay. know? Okay. That's fair. Did you, did you, is, is, uh, how old are you? 26. Did that, uh, has that something that's developed? Was there a time in your life? Like there was a time in my life where I would have cheated on my girlfriends, but like now I would never cheat on my wife. Like it had, I had to develop that. Oh, um, no, I never would. Never. You never. No. Okay. No. Because and I mean, it was college relationship, but I was cheated on in college. And so I would just would never do that. I oh, like that, that shit hurts. It, uh, I mean, like, I didn't even really like the guy. <laughs> so like, and, and uh, he told me like months after this is actually pretty funny. We were, we were just hanging out and I dated this guy for like, fuck, like four or five years, like all throughout college, like four oh. years. And I was like, we were having a casual conversation and I was like, isn't it crazy that like, we're the only people we've like been with for like four years. Like, I was like, that's kind of crazy. And he's like, well, and I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, <laughs> a couple months ago at like that rave I went to and I was like, oh, dang. Like, okay. I was like, nice. And that was I did that. that. I did that exact same thing. I so regret it. When I was 16, I told my girlfriend about the, the other girl, but oh. my girlfriend stayed with me and the other girl left me. It was fucked up in hindsight. I should wow. just yeah, play a player. Yeah, it yeah. was fucking bad. We were just all over the place. Mm. And she was, a, she was a girl on the street too. It would have been just so from the streets. Yeah. Hey. I mean, you know, from, from my street, oh, I mean, I was oh. a virgin. It, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was chill, but <laughs> literally lived on the street okay got it lived on your street hey there's a tick there's a tiktok post you have i didn't um i don't think i put a gave you a link did you to put it in oh. no but um the tick in the tiktok video you actually said that you made a tiktok where you're like you say something i forget what it is but you say something about a guy and then you're like yeah and then i looked at you again and you weren't that cute anyway you were kind of yeah. ugly anyway yeah. yeah, that kind of fits this story of that guy. Do you remember the yeah. TikTok video? I'm t you can no, go, can absolutely. you pull up our TikTok? Yeah. Oh, you know what's I? funny? Just to call it out because nobody knows who he is. My college boyfriend. He actually messaged me like a couple, like a month ago, and was yeah, like, "Smart, I smart. I like this. Smart." Yeah, he, he just he just messaged me and he was like, "I really miss you." And I was like, mm. "Wow, like it's been like three years and you haven't moved on." I just think that's kind of crazy. Did they ever send you like a? Like I don't. A I don't. I believe I think him. It's hilarious. Yeah, I believe him. Who in the comments believes? He misses you. Trust me. I he said, misses you. Uh, no way. <laughs> he misses you. That was so good. Uh, well, he's he uh, does. He, do you follow him on social media? No. No. He follows you. It doesn't feel necessary. If you want to, you can just look him up and just, uh, yeah, see, look, look, Omar believes it. Omar. Look at Matt. Oh, here it is. Here he is right here. Matt Morrison. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've located the TikTok, but not the one. Okay, hold on. Um, oh, there's a lot. Wow. Uh, maybe. Uh, Almost a million views. Where? Wow. Oh, oh let's no, play that. Me. Wait, it's no. Me. It's the... I don't even get that one. How does that one have a million views? I watched that one four times. I don't even understand that one. They all came from you trying to figure it out, Sevon. That's oh, that's me watching <laughs> it nine hundred thousand times. I think it was the the one right after that one. Maybe. Okay. Let's one? see. Uh, oh, I don't know. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe this really? is it. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Looking at oh, it. it's weird. This bitch kind of ugly. <laughs> now that I'm really looking at him. <laughs> this bitch kind of ugly. Yeah. Have you ever been there? Now that I'm really you know, looking like, you're friends with someone and then like, or you're like talking to someone and then you kind of stop and you like look at them and you have like a fresh view and you're like, wait, like, <laughs> you want all that? <laughs> you like never- from- like when the regular the other way around for me, it's huh. like, I'll be working with, I was working with people at my yeah. job and I thought that I, I never even considered them. And then when my friends start hitting on them, I'm like, Oh shit, we work <gasps> with a hot chick. Yeah. That has happened too. Like, you're like, how did I not notice this? Yeah. So. But I think that's a, that's a good thing though, because then it's like, maybe it's like their personality. You start to like really see it develop and you like them more. Because of their personality. Yeah, that's true. What's the mm-hmm. longest relationship you've had? Like four, four years. That dude. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, shit, he misses you. Of course he misses you. Four yeah. years. Uh, were you going to be on a team with um, Taylor Williamson and uh, Miss Nisler? And Andrea. Yeah, I was going to. Um, and then, you know, I was really all about it. But then... I was going back and forth with Cooper about whether or not I wanted to compete or work a lot that weekend. And because of last year, I pulled out last minute as well because of a back injury. And then I ended up working a lot and got to connect with a lot of sponsors and people. And it was just so much fun that I was like, I would rather do that again. And I have a um, big rad event on Sunday. So Um, how, how does that go? Do you, do you text them and be like, Hey girls, I'm sorry. I'm pulling out. Yeah, they they messaged me a lot, and I was really going back and forth. And then I was like, "Hey, I'm not doing this." And then like they didn't hit me back. I, like, I think fuck you, like, bitch. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, did did they pick up someone new? Do you know? Oh my gosh, I think they did. I don't know. We were talking about this at the gym the other day. Is it Sydney Mikulish? Oh, that's right. Okay, cool. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's right. I did hear that. Yeah. Do you know her? I know of her. Right from the games, or from more so from what was our semi Mac? Okay, mm-hmm. was that Mac? Did you get to know her at all? Uh, no, not really. She was really quiet. Yeah, I had her on the show. Show she's really cool. She's young. Is she like very she, young? Wasn't she a swimmer or something? I yeah. don't know, but if she could figure out running, she's gonna be a fucking problem. Like mm-hmm. she got a lot of crazy skills. Does she? What's she yeah. do? Games. She's good. Oh, not not so good. She because she. I mean, she she runs like a statue. But running has not been at the games. Well, I'm. It, it's she. She just she moves differently. I will ask Brian. Brian will be on here in thirty minutes. I'll be like, "What's Sydney horrible at?" She had some. She had some crazy holes. Okay. But but she's but she's good. She's promising. Okay, okay. No, I know you don't like it when we say nice things about the other competitors. Fuck her. I'm like, I, yeah, <laughs> you're just. I'm not, I'm not convinced by what you're saying. So yeah, and you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be. I'm only an expert in um, injections yeah. and uh, social matters. Mm. <clears throat> Do you know who Dana White is? Dana White. Isn't that a, like a, a bodybuilder? Kind of. Dana White. Um, oh, he, run, okay. he runs the UFC. Sounds so familiar. You, you recognize what you saw him. And, um, okay. He had an incident happen. He's huge. In the sport that I, I follow UFC, and he's huge. He's like the face of the UFC. He was like the Dave Castro of the UFC, but but even bigger. And Whoa. UFC is this big, huge international sport, and he's turned it into this billion-dollar empire. Oh, yes. And, okay. And so on New Year's Eve, he was in uh, Cabo San Lucas with Ooh. his wife of 30 years. Wow. Wow. And uh, How he met her when he married. Uh, I've only, I've only been married a couple of years, but I've been with my wife for over twenty years. We didn't, we weren't going to get married or have kids, and then we ended up doing it. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> wow! Yeah, getting married's cool. That I mean, cooler cool. than I thought. I had really low expectations. Yeah, yeah, me too. I have low expectations. It's um, the best expectation expectations to have. Good. Yeah. I was on an airplane one time, and there was turbulence, and I heard this like. It wasn't really like a voice, but I had this really strong thought that overwhelmed me that thought, oh, shit, I should have married her. Whoa. Yeah, crazy, right? Oh. And it was like such – you know when you have a thought that's so foreign, you're like it doesn't even feel like it's you? 
Yeah. Whoa. It was like it was like that. That's cool. Yeah. And I still didn't marry her for another 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> I only married her in case one of us died. The other one could get all their shit, right? Because I didn't want to like die and like and like not, her not get all my anyone else getting it. No, and the but government. then once I married her, I was like pretty happy. I was like, oh, this is cool that she's my wife. I'm really enjoying yeah. this. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Um, are you, okay. you going to have kids? I think I would like kids. I would like some mini me's running around. You know, I think I'd, I think it would do the world some good to pass on these genetics. Wow. Okay. And you're up for the challenge too? I am. And – if you did, um, I enjoy taking care of people. Okay. And then the husband, would you be pretty serious about that relationship too? About, about what's it like in marriage? You have to say, stick through this through thick and thin or something. And then you put your hand on a Bible or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I'll be pretty serious about it, but I think, I mean, any relationship is a, it's a constant evaluation of whether or not you want to keep continuing the relationship. Mm. You know? not if you have kids though i think so yeah what well, i don't under i mean okay i don't know because i'm not married don't have kids any of that but if i'm miserable in my relationship i don't know how i could possibly be a good mother or take care of anyone fair fair like when okay, i'm fair. miserable i can't even take care of like my dog like i'm like i can't even take care of my dog you know yeah I'm that's like, true listen <laughs> asshole listen it, you don't have to compare us. It's nicer to watch. Dan it's not even. It's nicer to watch Danielle Brandon than someone. Shut the shut your pie hole. <laughs> hey, you like taking pictures of your profile pictures. Your dog spreading its legs. Oh my mm. god! You freak. Yeah, like that's not you. <laughs> that's for you. The profile pics get crazy on this channel. <laughs> you see some crazy ones. They want us to notice. They want us to see it. See they're different. Um. Okay. So, so that's fair. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is all relevant to Dana White. I don't want you to think like, like yeah. some other people that I have like OCD or like I'm off subject. That is, I'm extremely focused, uh, yeah. individual. I believe it. Um, okay. 